Trump on the show tonight. Also, the Jonas Brothers are here. And uh, later we'll have music from Neon Trees. Tune in Monday, Bill Cosby and Ricky Gervais, two funny comics on the show. Next week, Eddie Murphy, Chelsea Handler, and Michael Douglas as well. On Friday, Kiefer Sutherland and Mary Lynn Rice couple join us for a special show celebrating the final episode of 24. That should be fun. Now, folks, as our economy rebounds from rough economic times, we thought we'd help out a few audience members and treat them to a fancy meal, all right? No. But first, they have to earn it in a segment we call Meal or No Meal. <laughs> all right, you're about to meet three people who have a special talent or think they have a talent, but is it good enough to win a free meal? That will be up to our judges to decide. Let's meet our judges. Say hello to our band leader, Kevin Eubanks. Kevin, how are you? <laughs> Now, our own Ross Matthews, dressed in a jack and tie, Hello! obviously. Hello, Ross. Hello. <laughs> Ross came directly from a court appearance to be here. I look nice. Yes, you do. <laughs> and the man who will be at the Borgata Casino in Atlantic City, very funny comedian, July 2nd and 3rd, Jim Norton. Jim as well. Hello. Hello. Let's meet our first person, Jonathan Garogi. Am I saying that right? Yes, you are. Durogi? Oh, I said it right. There you go. Nice to meet you. Hi, how old are you? I'm um, 15 years old. 15 years old. So you almost said 16 years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, you thought I was a cop, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's a nice town. <laughs> you ever go to the original O's downtown with the curly cheese fries? Uh, no. You been down there. Okay. So what do you do for fun in, in Pittsburgh? Um, I, well, I, I'm a big baseball fan, and I play baseball. Okay, but you have the Pirates. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> In a few years, they're going to be a good team. Okay, I know. But... Andrew McCutcheon. <laughs> that youthful enthusiasm. <laughs> you keep believing something. No, that's good. That's good. Now, what are you going to do tonight? I am the second fastest clapper in the world. <laughs> the second fastest clapper. Yep. Have you met the first, the fastest? No, I haven't, but, but I've seen him. Oh, you've seen him? Yeah. He's good. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay. All right. He's second fastest clapper in the world. All right. Um... Well, you need to warm up or anything, or just go right at it? I'm all right. I'm, I can go. And how many claps, like, a second do you do? Twelve claps per second. Twelve claps per second. Wow. Like, how do you know? <laughs> like, you're, you're an actor. Well, you've seen 11 and 9. <laughs> wow. All right, well, go ahead. Let's see. quit school and turn pro. I don't even think you need that. <laughs> well, let's go to our judges. Kevin, you want to shatter this young man's well, dream or what? You Pittsburgh Pirates fan? Yeah. So you really have no reason to clap at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, no, oh so, come on. I mean, if you're a Phillies fan, but Pirates, no meal. No, sorry. No! Can't do it! Can't do it! No. Sorry, can't. No. Oh, man. No. All right, let's oh, go yeah. to Ross. <laughs> I thought that was impressive. I did clap like that one time at my very first Celine Dion concert. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a hand, you get a meal. You get a meal. All right, all right, all right. All right it's down to the angry, almost bald man. <laughs> Jim. I was impressed. It kind of reminds me of my hands when the Victoria's Secret catalog shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a meal. This is our page, Adam Smith. Adam's mom is watching on her nine-inch Sylvania uh, television. Her trailer where is it in Unick, Oklahoma? Is that where they are? It, actually, Edmond, Oklahoma. Edmond, okay. okay. Edmond, Oklahoma. Not, okay, not yeah. Unick. Okay. Thank you. We have dinner right. for four at McCormick and Schmidt's Seafood Restaurant right across the street. There you are. Thank, Thank you. you, my friend. Very good. Very good. All right, let's move on. Where is Where is Keith Weiner? Right here, Jay. Keith Weiner. Oh, hi. how are you, Keith? It's hi, uh, an unfortunate name, but you seem to have overcome it. <laughs> 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 Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. From Chicago. There you go. All right, Chicago. I love Chicago. Now, are you a Cubs fan? Yes. Yeah, you're not a Pirates fan, huh? No. No, okay, okay. Now, what are you going to do today? What is your talent? Well, I do a bird call. A, a bird call, all right. Yeah. What, what kind of bird is it, you know? Well, it's actually something that I just just started doing when I was maybe 10 years old. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just started doing when you were 10 years old. It's not really any type of bird. Sir, you have had a hard life. What are you, 14 now? Yeah. <laughs> 
Just started when he was 10. Look at him. It's been a hard life. All right. And you don't know what kind of bird it is? No. Okay, so it's a bird you just made up. All right. right. All right, so it's something that sounds like a bird. All right, go yeah. ahead. I'm guessing this is the only place in the world that will earn you a meal making that noise. Uh, a cab? What do you think? Wow, that was a big ass bird. That was pretty wild, man. That was great, man. Give him a meal. Wow, well, a meal. All right, okay. Ross? I got to admit, that was better than I thought it was going to be. You're a good. You're a good tweeter. You should get on Twitter. I'd follow you. <laughs> Me, I vote. I vote meal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. Well, pretty much a lame duck. Uh, I think that's a great skill to have if you're ever like in a room full of people and you want them to leave immediately. <laughs> I would say give them a meal. That's a fantastic. meal. All right, very good. Very good sir. Okay. Oh, here you go, sir. This is very good. Um, it's dinner for four at Morton's Steakhouse. Very nice oh, steakhouse right you. up the street here. There you are. So good luck. Good luck to you. Okay. Where is? We have one left. Where is Connor Buckley? Oh, that sounds like you went to prep school. <laughs> Connor Buckley. Oh, Pablo. Oh, thank you. A townie like me. Very good. Uh, Connor, how old are you? I'm 16. 16? No, you're not lying about it. Huh? You're actually 16. <laughs> and what do you do? You go to school? Yeah. You like school? Not really. Not really? What, what seems to be the problem? The education and, part. Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess if you liked it, you'd be in it today, because it's a school day. All right. No chance of your teacher seeing this, huh? All right. And you're a soccer fan, I'm, I'm taking it. Yes. Uh, OK. And uh, what, Ireland? Is that your? Uh... That's my country. That's yeah. your country, Ireland, dude. OK. And you going to watch the World Cup? Uh, I am, but I'm not going to be rooting for anybody. Now, why is that so? Because Ireland is not? Ireland's not in it, because France in. decided to cheat. Oh, France decided to cheat. <laughs> All right, well, good. Now, what are you, you going to be doing tonight? Uh, I'm going to be doing a soccer trick where I put the ball in the back of my neck and take my shirt off. Oh, do we, <laughs> do we have a soccer ball? Oh, here's Adam with a soccer ball. You know, this kid is so sharp. He, I, I'm trying to help you. Thank guys. you. So your mother is so proud. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to take your shirt off. OK. I'm going to put the ball in the back of my neck and take my shirt off. OK, all right. All right. All right. OK, this is. This is why a lot of Americans don't watch soccer. <laughs> you don't have a sister that can do this trick, do you? <laughs> Here comes the hard part. This, this separates the men from the boys. This is the tough one. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Here we are. Here we go. Will he make it all the way? All right. Kev, what do you got? Well, uh, you, you, you say you're, um, you're from Arizona? Yeah. Ah, no comprende. No, I come here to Paro stay. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ross? I could, you were a little nervous there for a second, weren't you? It was going to fall, wasn't it? Listen, if you could step it up a level, I could get you a job at SeaWorld. Put it on your nose. No? Meal. Meal for you. Meal. Yes. All right. Meal. It comes down to Jim. Jim, what do you got? How can we not give him a meal? He's managed to combine getting undressed with a field sobriety test. A meal. A meal. All right. Good job. Congratulations to all the contestants. Thanks, everybody. Be right back with Donald Trump. Thank you, sir.